Hi, I'm Dan Vaida, film and stage actor from Transylvania, Romania, who moved to North America to pursue my acting career. From the beginning of the video, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel. It's free of cost. A lot of people don't know that. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's a way of supporting me, which is very important, and I thank you in advance. The topic of today is clarifying some terms that you as an actor will um, hopefully run into. And if you're a more advanced actor, just skip the video because you, for sure you already know those things. But I'm talking about beginners or actors who are, or wannabe actors. So there are a few terms and, and watch till the end because I'll give you the best one at the very, very end because it's very, very confusing. So you go for an audition, which is like a job interview for actors. You go for an audition and then you hear back from your agent saying you are on the short list, which means that they narrow down their search to maybe, let's say, three actors. So they have to decide now between three actors, for example, can be four, can be two, whatever that is, for, to, to choose from for that specific part. Because initially they audition, let's say they audition 30 actors, then uh, if they have callback, maybe they call eight actors for the callback and then they, they narrow down to three. I'm just giving some random numbers, I'm explaining the principle behind it. So, you are shortlisted, which means you might get the part, you're one of the two, three, four, five actors who are on the short list, which is a very, very good thing. And your agent should appreciate that because it means you did a good job in the room and that's why you're considered for the part. And also, of course, you look the part, which comes first. Now, that's what shortlisted means you might hear the term pinned, which means basically the exact same thing. I don't know why they're using different terms and words. They all mean the same thing. If you're shortlisted or if you're pinned, they are considering you, but they're not 100% sure you are the one who's going to book. They're looking at other options. And also on hold means the exact same thing. So those three words, pinned, or few words, few, three terms, pin, pinned, on hold, and shortlisted. They all mean the same thing. Again, I have no idea why, why they're using different terms. It's just making everything more confusing, uh, like it should be. <laughs> I'm joking. So that's that. Which again, congratulations if you got to that point. It means you are really seriously considered to be part of that project. Now, the last term that I promised at the, at the beginning of the movie, of the, of the video, uh, the last part, uh, term is, which is very, very confusing, the right, if I remember correctly, I was once for commercial, I, I, was, I got the right of first refusal I said, what did I, what's that? The right of first refusal. I had no idea what that means. And uh, I ended up booking, it was a commercial for Budweiser. So the right of first refusal means they picked somebody already, but in case that person, that actor, actress, books something else and or for some reason they don't want to do that project then you're the next choice so basically you're the second choice and in case the person who booked it doesn't want to do the show or the whatever the project is then you are the next one the one who got the right of, of first refusal it's just a silly way to to say things at least this is how I perceive English as my uh, 
second, third, whatever language is. It's not my first language, obviously. And uh, that means basically you are on hold or pinned or shortlisted because you might be the one getting the part and uh, it's a fair high chance for you to get the part in that case. They are anticipating, I guess that that's what they're doing. They're anticipating that the person who booked it, it's busy and might choose a different project and then you're next. So hopefully you will uh, run into those uh, situations and you'll be booking and working and that uh, it's a win-win for everyone. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Ask me questions, I'll give you my honest opinion. And uh, if I don't know, I'll let you know that I don't know. Please subscribe to my channel again, I have to repeat, because this is how I'm, I'm growing. If I, I'm getting your help, guys, and I need your help, to be honest. And it doesn't cost you anything. All you need to do is to press the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the rest will take care of itself. It's free to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.